Hey guys, how's it going? This is Anis from K2 Trades and let's go over some pairs. Uh, see what do we have potentially for this week to trade. Um, so let's start with the gold. So gold has made a significant bearish move from last week. So uh, I am honestly looking for it to continue to fall further down. We might get smaller pullback right here. But essentially I would look for, you know, for it to come down to this uh, support, potentially to the weekly. Um, obviously uh, I would wait for a breakout of this daily support which is uh, at 15.08 uh, and then sell it off. Uh, other than that, uh, it's pretty straightforward. It is, however, in the weekly option still, uh, but uh, it does need a major correction and there is a good indication of that, as you can see here on the weekly. Uh, last two weekly, uh, big reversal sign so even if it does let's see uh 50 percent that would be at like 1478 uh even 38.2 would be at 49.86 so uh which is 202 220 pips down from current uh, market price um so i am uh, favoring bearish move on gold so uh, we will see how it plays out, and obviously, once I see setup, I will call it out. Uh, GBPUSD, GBPUSD uh, respected this weekly resistance. Uh, it did broke out of the uh, downtrend, uh, but I would like to see it continue down into this uh, boxed zone, which is a you know buying zone and also retest of the trend. Uh, and there is a good possibility uh, that from this area right here, uh, GBP USD will reverse to the upside. Uh, so my might present some potential uh, swing trades for a few hundred pips. Um, so honestly, I would just personally wait for it to come back down and look for the buy entry in this area. GPP, JPY respected the zone right here. Um, kind of similar setup, except I would like to see uh, GJ come back down to this weekly uh, support, potentially this daily support. Would be even better because that would be sort of a retest of the broken trend as well. Uh, definitely uh, looking like uh, GBPs are setting up for a larger uh, upside movement. Let's see. I'll reconnect some dots. Okay, let's see how that looks. Yep, that looks much better. So weekly support would be the target in my eyes. Right there. Would like to buy it again. So there's a potential for it to drop 130 pips to give us that uh, proper retest. It also gapped to the downside but covered the gap. So I am continuing uh, to be biased on a further bearish move on GJ. So keep an eye for that. GPAD, yeah, this broke uh, support, support, now became resistance. This is resistance as well. Yeah, definitely see it coming back down to this weekly, which should be 100 pip move. 
and from there we can maybe look for the recovery let's uh, just verify this one more time yep 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 mm -hmm. yeah definitely like this uh move down Yeah, no doubt this is strong, strong bearish move. So seventy nine. I'm actually going to call this most likely. Yeah, I do like this cell. Yep, I'm going to call it. Okay, so that will be a cell. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see, GP and ZD. Sitting at this support. Just gonna update this to resistance as well as this. Okay, there's a good chance to break this and fall down. Yep, should be a nice drop. If that happens, so I will really wait for uh, this breakout right here and then confirmed breakout in, in the way of retest and then uh, sell off to the downside. I do like, I do like this as well. GBK didn't give us uh, enough of a pullback here and start dropping, actually drop to the projected target. Now I do see it uh, continue further fall here. Yeah, however it did end up breaking. Yep, it should have sold over there. Uh, would have been 134 pips already, uh, but no worries. I see this continuing back down, so it should be a good setup. Uh, GBP CHF looks like a nice sell as well. Gonna call that too. Give me one second. This is gonna be sell. Let's 
take profit. Okay, so we got two trades, GA and GBPCHF. Two cells. Uh, let's see what your AED is doing. Oh, definitely broke down. Oh, let's see. Uh, it's approaching next support. So I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't personally touch it. It is approaching this support, intraday support, and uh, really depending on uh, what it does here, it can uh, bounce up, or the break of this retest, we will continue down. Um, so I would just be patient with it. Let's see on a daily. And a weekly. Yeah, I would stay still uptrend. Yep, definitely still uptrend. And I do see it coming down to test this trend. Yep, so yeah, I'm definitely favoring uh, further movement down, uh, but it's almost, it almost reached this uh, target, so nothing for right now. Your GBP, uh, your GBP uh, looks like a potential sell. If this zone holds, Yeah, so this could be a, a potential good sell to there, but it can also break up, retest, and go back up. Um, so just looking at it, um, there's no entry at this point. I would wait to see what it will do, to be honest. there is a chance that it will just keep riding it slightly up to this weekly resistance because this one hour is sort of breaking this uh, intraday but it is also hitting the zone so uh, no confirmation on that one your nzd predicted fall we were in this last week uh, we got uh, some nice pips out of it so right now Really would just wait for a breakout of this and see in which direction this will continue going. I am still biased towards the down downside movement to this weekly support, but not going to chase it and I just called two trades so that should be more than enough. Uh, you're a kid. We were selling this last week also gained some profits. Almost at the weekly support as well. Um, so no current setup on it. Uh, overall it is looking Pretty bearish. So um, it could very well uh, respect this support and come back up to retest this broken zone. Other than that, 
uh, if it starts breaking with weekly, weekly support we will find next one and uh, look to uh, write it further down but uh, I am seeing it respect this and come back up to retest the zone as well as the the trend line so just keep that in mind uh, your JPY we were in a cell I forgot to give the update uh, we caught some pips last week around here it was 620 yeah right here and then it fell like 70 pips uh, and then it came back up and it broke the support but it seems like it's not true break uh, we were not able to maintain this structure above the zo zone and it closed right under uh, the support again um, so I am uh, looking for this to fall further down um, however I'm not gonna trade it just tonight and that was all GBPs and Euro pairs uh, let's actually let's add Euro USD here okay Euro USD seems to be closing under this support uh, and if that ends up happening it should come uh, back to the weekly support right and this will turn into resistance so at the moment nothing that i like yep i'll just let it be there's going to be plenty of opportunities on GBPs and Euros. So I uh, just wanted to make this a quick overview of uh, what I mainly look at. Uh, also, once you uh, get a chance to check it out, uh, please let me know uh, what other and additional pairs I can, uh, uh, you know, analyze and give you feedback on, uh, especially as you guys are premium subscribers. You can always ask on opinion. Uh, but those are the main main pairs I trade and the ones you know uh, I look for uh, you know setups on because they do present uh, enough uh, setups just uh, by themselves okay so uh, hope you guys have a great trading week and I will uh, definitely uh, catch you in the chat